Oh, hello there. Oh, yes. You're well known enough to come in. Okay, thanks for that. But then to close the door immediately on your face. Welcome to Barstone North, hero. This is a quiet district, and we like to keep it that way. We don't tolerate uncivil behaviour here, so mind you don't end up in our holding cell. We have a raving lunatic locked up right now, but he won't be seeing many more sunrises, if you know what I mean. Now, Lady Grey desires to speak with you. You'll find her grace in the gardens outside of Mention. This is a great honour, even for a hero, so mind your manners. Right, let's go speak with the old raving lunatic first. I'll start a side quest that we will do. <laughs> Soon as, as soon as we speak to you, Lady Grey. Finally, someone to talk to. You've got to help me out. The mayor's having me executed. That's what happens when you start asking too many questions round here. There's something going on with your eyebrows, dude. But no one will believe me. Just because I was wrong about the guards controlling our dreams by spiking our water supplies. Her sister was an angel. Would have made a wonderful mayor. And I know Lady Grey killed her. I just know it. You have to help me prove it. Otherwise, Bowerstone will remain in her clutches and I'll be executed. Uh, sure, why not? Yes, finally. We're going to bring that crazy witch down. All you need to do is get her dead sister to tell you what really happened. Don't give me that look. We all know ghosts exist. You've seen them. I've seen them. We've all seen them. Lady Grey's sister, Amanda, had a sweetheart called Rodri. Nice guy, usually hangs out in barrow fields. If anyone knows how to entice her out of oblivion, it's him. Okay. So I go back to... Oh, okay, so he's talking about crop circles and abductions. Maybe not the best guy to start a side quest with, but you know. We'll see where this leads us. So, you're the one everyone is talking about. I must say, you have me intrigued. Will you walk with me to the courtyard? It's bizarre. Her head and her body have two different lighting effects. It's lovely here, don't you think? But sometimes it feels like the loneliest place in the world. You see, I haven't married yet. Somehow I've never met a man worthy enough. I need someone whose hands and feet are on fire. Someone who could conquer the arena could conquer me. Perhaps you could bring me a gift from town. I'm sure you can find something fitting for a lady. Okay. So what we should be doing is talking to the woman down at the top left of the map. And she says, well, she likes black roses, which you can only buy from... I think it's this dude here, but the shops are shut. I think there's a chest in this house. Just from memory. You're an embarrassment. Oh, not. I know there is a chest in one of these houses. I need a place to sleep. There it is. Five hundred gold, I'll take it. Now we need to get out of here before they call the police. Let's go to the tavern, sleep in there until morning. Then we'll come back, buy the black rose from the vendor, give it to Lady Grey, and then she'll ask us to do something else for her. Because it's never simple. Now I think there is a, a like a homeless sort of area behind the tavern that you can sleep in for free but if a guard spots you in there you'll get uh, told off can you move out of the fucking way all right then let's get the stuff i need a rose as you wish sir you're sure to find something to suit you that's what we need is uh, let's go into his stuff you got any food while i'm here now i'll buy your fish uh, what was going to just buy? Yeah. 
I buy you meat. It's got so much stuff. People have so much inventory. That's interesting. But all I need is a gift. I have a key. I've got books. Doll of me. Of course, it's naked. I mean, that's, that's just my character all over. And a hero thunder doll. You need to collect all the dolls for an achievement. What we need is a black rose. There we go. Actually, I think there's a chest in the back of this shop. Yep, there it is. 500 gold. How may I help you today? Not you again. Now we're going to give the black rose to Lady Grey, and she'll ask us to go and do something else. That's the way these quests always work. Here you go. Oh, that's beautiful. I knew you'd have a romantic soul. Not like some heroes. Of course, a woman in my position can't marry into poverty. The very least one can expect is that a man will have his own house. I have a house and two shops. I have two houses. But you can't be renting it out. You actually have to own it. So I'm just going to go back there, kick the people out of my house, go back to Lady Grey saying, hey, this is my house. And she'll be like, oh, okay. And I'll go back and rent it out again. The poor people. I mean... I'm an evil person, that also means I'm an evil landlord. That's alright. We paid a bit of rent as well. Uh, we'll also stop by the teacher, see if we can give him any more books. Give me all the quests I now will complete them. Fuck you. Fuck it out, it's in the tree! I can just I'm fucking that's what happens when you get your strength skills up. <laughs> I uh, will not sell it, and I will kick the people out. Uh, I might have some books for you. Ah, hello again. Oh, the children are always asking me about the arena. Oh, they love this. Yeah, they'll hear the story about how I killed Whisper. Thank you, hero. I'm sure we can put this to good use. Uh, how many of you have been to the Witchwood Arena? Ah, but have you ever stopped to look at the statues in the Hall of Heroes? Some of the greatest heroes in Albion's history are celebrated there. Mighty champions who conquered the arena and the people's hearts. In the days of the Old Kingdom, heroes would lead their fans into battles so they could see their skill and bravery in combat. But all too often, Spectators would find themselves torn limb from limb by balverines, or caught in the backwash of a hero's spell. And so, the arena was built in Witchwood, to give heroes a permanent stage on which to fight their duels without endangering the audience. Creatures are brought there from all over Albion for heroes to face, and the battles get more elaborate with every year that passes. But one rule remains unchanged. Should either hero wish it, the final battle between them can be fought to the death. We all know about that. What was a sissy like you doing at the arena? Did you just call me a sissy? I don't know if we're allowed to punch children. books for us today, hero? Hmm, a love story. How sweet. With a title like that, I'm sure this will be suitable for the children. Ah, it lifts one's spirits to see a hero take such a keen interest in education. The way of the warrior doth take its toll on a hero's face. And ere long, women will fly and escape before he can give chase. Scarred and dejected, a hero named Ralph stole all of the trader's riches. He made use of their gold and bought romantic gifts for all of the... Uh, ladies. The women of Albion fell at his feet, and Ralph had the pick of the town, till he finally chose a pretty young girl and bought her a fine wedding gown. But too late did he see that love that is true 
isn't founded on wealth. His wife's only care was for money and gems he kept up on the shelf. By way of divorce, Ralph exercised his axe on her head. This he did mount up Yay! on the wall, just over the bed. So did the woman sadly become the world's first trophy wife. <laughs> I and get it. Ralph did give up the matrimonial for the hero's life. Bet you regret reading that one out for the kids. I've got some more for you, I think. Our books for us today, hero. History is an important part of our curriculum here, so the old kingdom would be invaluable. Thank you, hero. I'm sure we can put this to good use. Can any of you tell me who built the ancient pillars at Lookout Point? I don't remember them. The people in the old kingdom, sir. That's right. They once ruled all of Albion, and the ruins of their cities can still be found wherever you go. The kingdom was founded by a great lord named Archon, who united Albion using the power of the Sword of Eons. But over time, the sword began to corrupt him, and the kingdom fell into darkness. Strange monuments were built to focus the magical power of the kingdom, and terrifying armored figures were summoned to guard them. But at the very height of its power, the old kingdom collapsed, and Archon and his sword disappeared. What happened to them? Nobody knows. Mm. I wish we find some of that stuff out later on in the game. Ah, hello again. Ah, the final volume of the great creatures of Albion. <laughs> Should give the little ones a good scare? Sure, why not? Ah, it... Thanks to this kind hero, today's lesson is from Volume 3 of The Creatures of Albion. If trolls rule the land and dragons the skies, then the mighty Kraken are masters of the sea. A few men have ever seen a Kraken, and fewer still have lived to tell the tale. Since before the times of the Old Kingdom, these terrifying creatures have lurked in the seas that surround Albion. Their tentacles can grow to be over a hundred feet long and are strong enough to crush a ship like kindling. A brave sailor once drove away a Kraken by hacking off one of those gargantuan tentacles. But to kill one of the beasts, oh, that would truly be a heroic task. I don't think you can see any Krakens in the oh, Fable series. Again, uh, might be something I'm wrong about. What's this? The Pale Balverine? I hope it doesn't give them nightmares. It's fine, I killed the Balverine. The Why Pale one. Stay and listen? There was once a lord who thought himself good with an arrow until people saw that his lies ran right through to his marrow. Many months in the cells of Bargate he spent, plotting his redemption. And once he was free, he hunted all evil without exception. One day he <laughs> met his match, a foul and mighty Balverine. He did not die from its bite, but his curse was obscene. He became one of those creatures, and pale as snow was his fur. To kill him came then a red-caped woman, a true connoisseur. A silver arrow pierced his blackened heart and sent him to his grave. And so he died in infamy without the acceptance he craved. Mm, you interesting. have done our school such a great service. I don't know if we can ever adequately repay you. I do have a little something, and, well, I know it's not much, but the children think you'll love it. We used it in our production of The Mage's Apprentice, but it was a little large for our particular actors. Bright, well uniform. 
awesome. Or just a hat. Just a hat it is. I'm looking at a picture over here. I don't know what it is. It looks like two dudes going at it. <laughs> like, there's a green dude and a blue dude. The green dude's bent over. I don't know. You can interpret, interpret that how you want. I think that means we've done a third of all the books. I'm, hmm. I'm pretty sure there's more. Can't be all of them. It would pop up on the screen. Because um, the game tracks your achievements even if you've got the achievements. Um, so I would think it would tell us. Because one of the achievements is give done it all the books, I believe. I don't know. Right then, let's go tell Lady Grey that I now have a shitty little house next to the school, which I'm sure she'll love. And then she might give us another thing to do. I'm so pleased to hear you have a house. I wouldn't want to think you wanted to marry for the money. Would you do something heroic for me now? A while ago, I lost a necklace. It is most precious to me. Perhaps you could investigate round town. Someone must know its whereabouts. God. Damn it. Uh, I don't remember this one, so we're going to have to have to ask all the people to find out where it is. What do you think? There's talk going round that the lady's looking to marry. Wouldn't like to be in the poor fool's shoes, I can tell you. There's something not right about her. Did you know her sister disappeared? Without a trace, she was last seen at the Grey House. No one knows what happened. Cool. Do you have anything to say? You've been talking to that crazy Gethin, haven't you? And I suppose he's been yapping on about one of his twisted conspiracy theories. The man is sick in the head. A danger to society. <laughs> Won't be for very long, though. The mayor is seeing to that. No, that's not suspicious at all, is it? What do you have to say? So you've heard about her sister too, huh? Seems that no one is quite sure of our mayor's history. Did you know she wears her sister's necklace all the time? He's Welsh. So many accents in Albion. Uh, the shops shut. Uh, I hope he's not the one that would, that has the useful information. Try these two. You really are devoted to the lady, aren't you? Well, if she's looking for information, you should talk to some of the men around the town. Really, we have such gossips in Bowerstone North. You'd think they'd have better things to do. Hmm. You really are devoted. Well, re you really are. Well, Why are you green? What do you have to offer? There's somebody in this house, but they're asleep. No, or not. Hello there. I want to talk to somebody. Oh, so the necklace belonged to the lady's late sister. She don't wear it no more. I heard it was stolen. Stolen by who? Hmm. Sentenced to death for speaking up. Call them justice. I thought they a shop owner, but he's he's closed. He's still in there though. All right, let's go sleep at the tavern, and then we're going to speak with that shop owner. Or maybe there's some more people to speak to in Barstone South. That was a slow fade out. What's going on there? Usually it's quite quick. No, no one to gossip to in here. Let's go sleep at the tavern and then we'll go back in and speak to the shop owner. God, the frame rate sucks in here. Oh god. Because at night all the NPCs go to the pub, all their own houses, but a lot of them go to the pub. And it's, it's just so many people, the game starts to freak out a little bit. Right then, the shop owner should be useful, or it's one of these dudes. Stolen, yeah, heard that. <laughs> but did you know it's been seen in Oakvale? I bet it's still there somewhere. Bollocks, I've got to go to Oakvale. I bet people still hate me there. Let's go have a look. Total fine, zero. They've forgiven me for murdering a bunch of people and some guards and uh, 
buying houses. They're just like, oh, it's fine. It's all good. Don't worry about it. It's, it's, it's all it's all in the past. 